What's cracking everyone, Amy Crichton here and that montage you just watched was shot entirely on the Sony FX6. Hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll footage. It was entirely shot on the Sony FX6. It was not sponsored or paid for. I just went down to the local motocross track um, to get some of the local kids hooning around on the track. Um, the camera performed really, really well. I was really surprised. Um, but a big heads up, this monitor in the Australian sun is not gonna cut it. You need something like this. This is a small HD Cine 7. Um, and without this, I would not have been able to get critical focus on anything. This was just a blurry mess. I would not recommend using this for your focus. So how I have the FX6 rigged at the moment is kind of finished, but not really. Um, we're gonna have a bright tangerine matte box on the front. Um, I've only just got this lens today. I haven't had a great deal of an opportunity to test it out yet, but from what I've seen in a couple of test little shoots that I've done, it, it looks really, really nice. And it'll be really, really handy to have that zoom servo on there for more docu corporate type stuff. Something else that I will be changing is the V-lock plate at the back. Um, I'm just not happy with how it's sitting. There's a lot of cables, um, it's just messy and I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that I have to undo these little knobs here and then pull it out and then all these cables are just, cable management is just annoying for me. So I've actually ordered the Came TV V-Lock plate, which attaches to the camera. Um, so it's more clean, um, more professional looking and a lot less mess. Coming from Canon, um, I was pretty happy with how the whole menu system worked. Um, I'm not sure why everyone's complaining so much about the Sony menus. Um, they're very different to Canon, yes, but they're not, um, you know, it's not a deal breaker. You can certainly figure them out. I've had this camera for about a week. Um, and I have no problems finding anything in the menus. Um, it may take me a little bit longer because I'm not used to the menu system, but give me six to 12 months with this camera and it won't be a problem. So 95% of the vision that you saw in that motocross clip was shot on the Sigma 100 to 400 mil lens. Now this thing is an absolute beast. Um, look how small it is, it's ridiculous. For a 400 mil lens, this thing is amazing. Chuck it in your bag, it's not that heavy. Um, get a Canon 400 mil lens, f.2.8. Uh, you, you're not gonna be able to hold this just with one hand. Um, so this goes from a five to 6.3 aperture. And a lot of people think that that's a negative um, thing, but for the price, don't worry about it, it's ridiculous. You don't wanna be pulling focus at 2.8 anyway. Go try do that. Um, if you're taking photos, maybe that's a different story, but with video, this is perfect. You want your aperture high, you want your images sharp, you want to be able to control what's in focus, and this thing is amazing. I've also seen a lot of people online saying that this particular lens, which is the FE 28 to 135, is not the greatest lens. Um, and it really depends on what you're doing and what you're shooting. If you are running gunning, if you can only take one lens, this might be good for you. It is an F4, um, but you can still get great depth of field out of this lens. Um, I love the fact that it has a servo zoom rocker on it. It just makes it a lot more doco friendly. You can just grab it out of the car and go. I will show you a couple more test shots that we did with the FX6 yesterday. Uh, these are just a few shots we did for a TV commercial. Um, nothing too crazy. We were a little bit rushed. We had several locations to get through on the day. It was fantastic to be able to test this camera though. It just held up in all situations. I was really, really impressed. I thought there would be more of a learning curve to this camera, um, but it's, it is just really easy to pick up and use. I haven't used the autofocus too much yet. I had a, a few dramas trying to figure out how you can work it because I shoot a lot in 60 or 50 frames. So it is a little bit confusing to get your head around, um, but I think I got it sorted now. Put some assignable buttons on the camera and you're good to go. Um, I do also use this lens with the FX6, which is the 24 to 70. 
um, and I also have the wider angle 16 to 35 on the Sony a7S 3 so these lenses also look amazing on this camera and that wraps it up guys I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one